In this video, I'm going to do a short, quick review on the Acer Chromebook 315. I really like this device. I really believe this is a great entry-level cloud gaming laptop. And in this video, I'm going to break down the reasons why I really like this device as well as test it with the GeForce Now, um, Shadow PC, and Amazon Luna. So the first things first, the reason why I like this device is for three reasons. One, the price. The price of this device is under $200. You can pick one up currently full price at $170 to $880. Um, I could see this going down significantly during the holiday season. Um, the second reason is the display. The display is a 1080p 60 hertz display. Very fine and it's 15 inches big. Um, this is really good for uh, people that like need big screens like myself now. Uh, I used to love having a small screen, but now as I'm getting older, the bigger screens are better. Um, so 1080p, it's, it's, it's not super bright and vibrant, but it's good enough. Um, it's clear. Um, I don't know what trickery they use. There's some special lighting feature with this device that makes the 1080p almost look like it's an HD artifact. And uh, also it's like, I don't know what it is. When you tilt it, it gets a little crazy looking. It's almost like a privacy screen, but like when you're dead on looking at it, it looks really great. Um, I know, do notice there's a little bit of glare with it, but let's get back with the, the reasons why I like it. So again, the uh, the price, the screen, and the network card. This is, supports Wi-Fi 6. And the only thing I would maybe go would like to see in the future is Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 7. But for now, in 2024, this is more than good enough to handle uh, what, what you need. So... Again, now we're going to talk about cloud gaming and why I believe this is a good cloud gaming device. Um, I'm going to start off by showing off Amazon Luna on it. Uh, Amazon Luna is basically free to use service if you have Amazon Prime. Um, I'm going to be using it demonstrating it in this video for the sole purpose of the affordable cloud gaming. Uh, I'm going to jump into GeForce Now. That's more of like a premium high-end cloud gaming uh, service uh, as well as... Uh, talk about uh, Shadow PC. So nevertheless, let's get into something. Uh, I'm just gonna go into X Defiant real quick and uh, go into the mode and just shoot just to show you what it looks like. I'm using a directly connected cloud gaming controller for Amazon Luna. This is great because it cuts down on any kind of latency. Um, this directly connects to the cloud. So this combined with this laptop is a really great viable gaming option. You can see that little to no latency. And again, this camera is not doing justice for the screen. Maybe I can focus in on it a little bit more. But it looks great. It's a it's like it's a nice, it's not overly bright. It's a decent display display. For some reason, I feel like it pops. Like I feel like it's almost like it's weird. Like it's not almost like a 3D effect. Like I don't know if you can see that right there. Where like that little message in the front. It looks like it's actually popping out at me. I don't know. It just has this has like a weird effect on this uh monitor here, but it's great. I, I really, for 1080p, 60 frames. I mean, you're gonna get that for this kind of price. I mean, and and I'm I, it's like comfortable the game. Like it's working great. So, with that said, I, this is a very this is would be the Amazon Luna using Amazon Prime. This Chromebook is a cheap cloud gaming setup. So I'm gonna move into the more premium uh, eSport gaming setup. This is be a little bit more expensive. Um, but uh, the GeForce Now um, really works well with more like higher end components. Like if you have a better refresh rate and a better monitor that supports better resolutions, for example, it could support 4K at 120. They could, they could support uh, 1440 at uh, 240, I believe. It works great for Amazon Luna, perfectly fine. You can live stream off this device if you want as well. It sends everything directly to the cloud. All the work is done in the clouds and not on this device. This device only sends in inputs and receives a video, and that's it. It's just it's nice and simple. It works, and it works great with Amazon Luna. That's why I really like this, uh, this Chromebook here. So I'm going to move on to the more advanced setup uh, with GeForce Now. So right now I'm using GeForce Now Ultimate. So I'm basically playing on a virtual RTX 4080. It's pretty nuts. As you can see, the shadows and the colors are a little bit better. Um, again, this is a 1080p screen at 60 FPS. I'm pretty limited with this device. But again, for casual gaming, it works great. It looks and feels great. Um, it's a definitely sharper, and it seems like a tiny bit more responsive than Amazon Luna. And this controller is just a Bluetooth controller. This isn't directly connected to the cloud. GeForce Now is like the premium version of cloud gaming um, when it comes to 
competitive gaming. I've done a lot of Fortnite clips and videos on how great and responsive it is. I got countless wins. I got tons of competitive cool clips with the GeForce Now. Uh, highly recommend. I would, if you want to get in the competitive side, this really isn't the device for you. It's comfortable. You can definitely get some clips and stuff, but if you want that edge, get a 1080p screen at 240 hertz, which GeForce Now supports, or get a 1440 at 120. Um, I stay away from 4K, but GeForce Now can handle all of that. You just need the proper monitor and network interface card to support it here. So um, the Acer 516GE can do all of that. I highly recommend that device. I have videos of that on my YouTube channel. Go check those out if you're interested in the pro gaming side of this. But a very viable option. You can just use GeForce Now. I want the basic tiers. You still get the same kind of experience as the Amazon Luna one. Um, you have to pay so much a month. I think it's like I don't know. I don't know what the current price is a month. I'll put it on the screen right now. But uh, again, this is a good option. Cheaper option, more casual option. Uh, you don't really get to see the benefits of GeForce Now on this device, but it still works. It's still a great gaming option. It's nice and comfortable. It's responsive, and it looks great. All right, as this loads up, I'm going to be running Windows 11 off of a Chromebook. See, right now here's my Chrome OS. Everything looks very chromey. I'm waiting for my Shadow PC to boot up right now. Once it boots up, I'll be running Windows 11 on this device. So again, this is like a thin client accessing the cloud and using their server uh, as a computer for myself. And uh, this is a great option if you need to have Windows, but you don't want to have Windows and don't want to pay for Windows and deal with the deal with the, the normal fun features of Windows and bloatware, etc. Just use the cloud version. Is very nice. And again, I partner with this company. They're really great. I really do love the cloud computing model they have. And uh, you can cloud game on this as well and live stream. Um, this, this is a dedicated cloud computer. So like you can do whatever you want. Like you, you could do editing. You, you're not limited to just gaming with a shadow PC. You can do multiple things. You could play video games. You can live stream. You could edit videos. Uh, I, I, I have, I do uh, video projects on this thing. I use this as a, my daily driver for most of uh, my applications and content creation. Uh, as you see, I got some videos in the works there. Um, that's it. I, I, this is a multi-purpose uh, cl cloud service. So as you see, look, there you go. That's Windows. Running Windows 11 off my Chromebook in the web browser. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have an app as well for this, but I, I find that the Chrome browser is just a simple easy way to use it. I'm um, pretty sure you can go widescreen if you wanted to. There you go, now you got full screen. So now it really feels like a Windows PC. So again, I'm running Windows 11 off of a cheap Chromebook. It's it's amazing. It's, it's we're in the, this is the future of cloud gaming, uh, future of gaming, future of computing, just these cloud uh, computers and thin clients like this. So again, highly recommend this device. This has been a great experience. Um, I'm going to be using this for my, it's my new daily driver. My old Chromebook is, uh, we laid, to, laid it to rest. So this is my new daily driver. Um, I'm very happy about it. Acer, big shout out to you. I really like your products and I really do like the things you're doing in the cloud gaming space. And I hope to see more things. And I would love to see a, another thin client like this, maybe with Wi-Fi 6 E and 7 capabilities, maybe a little bit better. Maybe have a more of a, a brighter display or come up with a little bit better display for and somehow keep it in the $200 to $300 price range, like a mid-range cloud gaming laptop. That would be cool to see because um, right now you have a high tier and you have the low tier with this one. I would like to see something in the middle if possible. But hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you uh, get into cloud gaming like myself. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.